Hello again and welcome to CRM Otter. In this video, you will be shown how to implement currency management in your Salesforce org. Let's dive right in. Each Salesforce organization initially has a single default currency that can be used by any of its users. You can display this currency by opening the setup menu, then typing in company information, and right here, and the currency local settings, you can see the currently used currency. In our case, this would be Euro. What this means is that whenever a user wants to create, for example, an opportunity, he or she only can use Euro for this opportunity, not any other currency. If you want to change this, you can go back to company information and click on edit. Next, scroll down to the currency settings. Here you can see the currency local again, and you are able to switch the currently used currency for this org. But what if your company is doing businesses in multiple countries with different currencies, like US dollar in the United States, as well as Euro in Europe? For this, you will need to activate a feature called Activate Multiple Currencies. Be aware that this will have some implication on certain functionalities regarding currency-related fields and reports, which can be read in more detail by clicking on this link or looking into the video description. If you activate multiple currencies, this cannot be undone. Now, let's turn on this feature. Click on Save, wait a few seconds, and then you will see that the setup page changed quite a bit. Let us take a look at some of the effects. We now have a corporate currency, which will be used as the base for any conversions from currencies other than our defined corporate currency. Also, we have a currency setup field. Let us take a look at this. Right here, you have different options regarding currency settings. Let us start from bottom to top. Right here, you can activate, edit, or deactivate any currencies you like. For our case, let us add US dollar as a currency. Search for the currency type, type in a conversion rate, for example, 1.05, and click on Save. Users will now have the option to use this currency for example, for creating opportunities in dollar instead of euros. Also, users can now switch their personal currency to the activated currency by going to the personal information settings page. Click on settings and now search for language and time zone. And right here, you can switch the currency. The personal currency will be used as the default currency, for example, when the user creates opportunities or reports. Nevertheless, the user is still able to create, for example, opportunities in any active currency. For now, let us keep everything as is. Let us go back to the currency settings. The next feature is called Parenthetical Currency Conversion. This feature is enabled by default and can be quite helpful to its users by displaying currency fields and their converted personal currency right next to it. We will take a look at an example in just a second. Last but not least, we have the advanced currency management. As this can be quite a huge topic on its own, I will keep it short and do another video on this later on. To sum it up, dated exchange rates allow you to map conversion rates to specific date ranges. For example, if you look at the conversion rate from Russian rubles to Euro, you can see that there's quite a difference throughout the year. Also, this would mean that if you create a Russian opportunity in March 2022, you would need a different conversion rate than any conversion for opportunity that would have been created, for example, in December 2021. So, to sum everything up, let us create an opportunity to see all the effects in action. 
For this type, we will create a test opportunity. And now you will see that there's an option to choose an opportunity currency. As our user has defined the personal currency as euro, this is the initial value that is selected. Nevertheless, we also can create an opportunity in US dollar as this feature was activated by the admin. Use any random amount, any close date, any stage, and click on Save. Let us look at the details. Right here you can see the parenthetical conversion. Because our user has chosen Euro as personal currency, the conver converted rate is displayed right here. Also, right here to next to the other currency fields. This was everything you need to learn about currency management and Salesforce. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments.